Hello and welcome to another Maker Nexus VCarve Pro tutorial. This time we are going to take the sign that we made, the Maker Nexus sign that we created in video number four. We're going to create the uh, tool paths that we can use on our ShopBot to create this file. So I'll bring up VCarve Pro and I'm going to open that file. And I'm going to click on Maker Nexus sign. And normally it would, uh, tell me that I need to check and get a license. However, I had to fix this file before I started the video. So there will be no um, usual uh, check and get a license, but you saw that in a previous video, you know what's happening. Here's my file. I'm gonna go over to the uh, layout to make sure. It's 12 inches by nine inches, three quarters of an inch thick. Z0 is on the machine bed and the XY reference is the lower left-hand corner. All looks good. And click OK. I'm going to go over to the uh, toolpath dialog. I'm going to select all of the toolpaths, do a preview, and click uh, preview all toolpaths just to get an idea of what I'm going to see and hope that it's what I planned on. It looks pretty much exactly what I had created earlier. Super awesome, excellent, great. I'm going to close my preview here. Now I need to do a little bit of planning because I have two different tools. I have the uh, the engraving bit in here, but I need the quarter inch tool to do the pocket and to drill the holes and do the outline. I don't feel confident that if I cut out this and only have these two tabs here holding in a place while I do the engraving, I don't think that's safe. So I'm going to do the conservative uh, process and I'm going to do my, um, pocket first, then I'm going to change tools and do the engraving, and then I'm going to change tools again and drill the four holes and do the outline on a third uh, tool setup. So the very first thing I'm going to do is this pocket right here. It's great. And I'm going to click on the save tool path. And it's, I've got selected up here, output all visible tool paths to one file. Tool paths to be saved is pocket one. I see it highlighted over here. I'm feeling good about that. Okay, great. I'm going to click Maker Nexus auto zero to surface because that's my favorite post processor. I'd rather have the machine do the zeroing than me because I'm generally lazy. I'm gonna to click save tool path. And I'm gonna call this one pocket, I like that. How about we make it sign pocket so I know exactly what's happening here, sign pocket. Save that to the desktop so I can find it later on. Okay, next I'm going to have to change the uh, tool. And so I'm gonna put my engraving tool bit in. I'm going to still zero to the surface because I don't want to do it myself. I'm going to click Save Toolpath. It's going to be option to do the name. And this one we're going to call Logo Engrave. Still on the desktop so I can find it later on. And click Save. Looking good. Last but not least, I'm going to do the four holes and the profile. Notice that it's important which order they're done in, that the drill is done before the profile. Um, I could use this right here and swap them around, which I'm not going to do, but you can do them in any order, but I recommend drilling the holes before doing the profile. Uh, and there we go, we got the drill, that. Maker Nexus Auto Zero to Surface, click Save Tool Path, and I'm gonna call this one Drill, spelling is optional, Drill Cutout sign. Save that to the desktop. I'd copy all three of these files to my flash drive, take it to the uh, machine, and I will attach my 12 by 9 piece of material. I'm going to put the screws in the very far corners and trust that the tool will not touch them. I could also start with a larger piece of material um, and uh, that might be another plan. But I'm going to go with the uh, conservative view and um, feel that I can get the fasteners in the corners and all will be good. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in the shop real soon.